Today's demonstration will illustrate how a Designware hybrid IP prototyping kit can accelerate IP prototyping, software development and integration for 64-bit ARM-based designs. The hybrid IP prototyping kit consists of two parts, a virtualizer development kit and an IP prototyping kit. The virtualizer development kit includes a virtual prototype of a 64-bit ARM Cortex-A57 and Cortex-A53 Big Little Base platform as an embedded target. It runs the entire Linaro Linux software stack including ARM's trusted firmware, a UEFI compliant bootloader and drivers for the Designware IP. The Designware IP prototyping kit is a HAPS DX FPGA based prototyping system with a Phi Daughter card for real world connectivity. It includes a pre verified Designware IP reference design on an SD card. In this demo, the HAPS DX system houses the USB 3.0 IP. The virtual platform will run on this PC. The PC is connected to the HAPS DX board using the PCIe cable. HAPS UMR bus enables the transfer. Let's show you how it works. I launched the Designware Hybrid IP prototyping kit. VP Explorer comes up. It is the central cockpit for control and inspection of hybrid IP prototyping kit. First, we'll show you how the system operates. All Linux boot images are loaded into the memories. Let's kick the boot off. Linux is booting on the Cortex A53 and A57 processors. Besides the processors, the virtual prototype contains other components such as keyboard and mouse interfaces, the LCD controller, etc. The Linux is booted. Let's exercise the USB functionality. I plug the USB 3 device on the Phi Daughter card on the HAPS DX board. The drivers running on virtual arm enumerate the device. Next, let's mount the device and have the virtual ARM processors play a video file residing on this USB stick. With the hybrid IP prototyping kit, software developers can easily configure, optimize and debug the embedded software. The kit works seamlessly with standard software debuggers such as GNU GDB, ARMS DS5 or Lauterbach Trace32. Let's connect Trace32 to the Designware Hybrid IP Prototyping Kit. Trace32 will now connect to the target in heterogeneous multiprocessing mode. From here on, we can perform debugging as usual, for example, set breakpoints, single step, inspect, etc. The hybrid prototyping IP kits go beyond the debugging experience provided by the software debuggers by enabling deeper insight into the hardware and software interaction. As an example, let's see what has been going on in the hardware and software during the video playback. Here are the Linux processes executed on the Cortex-A57 and Cortex-A53 processors. The FFplay application and USB 3 drivers are running on all cores. But which core handles the USB 3 interrupt requests? This trace shows the points in time when the USB 3 driver is accessing the USB 3 host controller. We can also see when the USB 3 host is raising interrupts. Let's adjust the cursor to that point. From here, we can zoom in to identify cluster zeros core zero is executing the IRQ. The function trace for this core points to the exact function handling the interrupt. Designware hybrid IP prototyping kits combine the benefits of virtual prototyping and FPGA based prototyping to speed software and hardware development for 64-bit ARM-based designs. 
The kits help you debug and trace the interaction across all software layers, ARM processors, and DesignWare IP interfaces. Thank you. Thank you.